The God of Abraham. Now the power of God is truly ready to be released in this place today. But in just another minute, but on a negative note, what I said before, let's not forget what the Lord spoke to us earlier in this message today. There are people here today that would trade their salvation. To go abroad. Seek the will of God for your life, whether He wants you to truly go abroad. Hanapin natin ang kalooban ng Diyos sa ating buhay. Kung kalooban niyo talaga ng mga abroad tayo, okay lang. So the question is, will you serve Him? Will you serve the Lord? Will you serve your family and yourselves? Ang tanong ngayon, maglilingkod ka ba sa Diyos? Maglilingkod ka sa iyong pamilya o sa iyong sarili? And I'm not a person to say these negative things without the Lord telling me. Hindi ako yung tao na ang nagsabi sa mga nila, may yung bagay nito kung hindi sinabi ng Diyos sa akin. And I know this burden is heavy for Pastor Edwin, for this church and for Mary Betty's church. Alam ko na ang inyong pastor ay may malaking kapigat ang sige sa mga. But this is not truly Pastor Edwin's church. Pero hindi lang ito pastor, hindi lang ito simbahan. It's not my church. This is the church of the living God. Hallelujah. This is His church. Yes, yes. Hindi ang hindi ko simbahan ko, hindi simbahan ko ni Pastor Edwin. Ito yung simbahan ng buhay na Diyo sa Panginoon Jesus. Praise God. Hallelujah. Let's not forget. Huwag natin kalimutan that Jesus was whipped, beaten, and crucified and died and was buried for this church. Huwag natin kalimutan na si Jesus ay naghira at bayubay sa cross para sa iglesia nito. For each of your salvation. Para sa bawat isa sa ating kalitasan. And we think we have it bad. Minsan niniisip natin na yun ay parang hindi ganong mahira. Mahira, mahira. But look at Jesus. He put a put nail pero ang Panginoon nagpagay sa nagpagay sa paipako ang kanyang mga kamay they whip him and beat him pinalo ang ang pako na yun pinalo yun ang kanyang buong katawa let's not forget his suffering huwag natin kalimutan ang kanyang paghihira para sa atin hallelujah we need to pick up our own cross and bear it kailangan natin buhatin ang ating sariling cross at ating pasalin for those of you here sa lahat ng nandito that haven't been following the will of God na sila ay naghahanap sa kalooban ng Diyos at sumusunod sa kalooban ng Diyos. They want to take sinful jobs or employment. Yung hindi nagkakaroon ng trabaho at yung hindi nakapagtrabaho. Repent of those things. Pagsisihan natin yung mga mga bagay. Turn to the living God. Bumalik tayo sa Diyos. Trust in Him. Ask Him what He wants you to do. Magtiwala tayo at magtanong, hinihingi natin sa Kanya kung anong ating gagawin mo. And I know there are people here today that have not repented. Alam ko may mga irang iba dito na hindi pa nagsisisi ng totoo. That haven't put their faith in our Lord Jesus Christ. Hindi pa nila totoo ang hinilalagay ng mga panang palakaya sa Diyos. And many of us don't understand why it's important. At maraming isa sa ating maraming hindi nila yung tanong kung bakit mahalaga ito. See, all of us have sinned. So lahat tayo yun yung mga kasalanan. Every one of us have sinned in one way or the other. Sa ibang ibang pamamaraan, alam ko lahat tayo yun yung mga pagkakamali. And that sin separates us from God. At ang pagkakamali yun, kasalanan yun ay nagpapalayo sa atin sa Diyos. But when Jesus died on the cross, no, pero nung namatay ang Diyos sa cross at albari, that was a sacrifice for our sins. Yun ay sakripisyo para sa ating kasalanan. But we have to put faith in the blood of Jesus. Pero kaya For those of you who haven't done that today here, visitors, do that right now. Believe Jesus died for your sin. Yung mga bisita natin, iba pang hindi pa nagawa yun. Gawin natin, ilagay natin na ating pananampalataya sa dugo ng ating Panginoon sa oras sa ito. Hallelujah. Amen. When I was a Catholic, I didn't understand about the blood of Jesus. No, okay, katolik ko pa, hindi ko na hindi yung kukos sa dugo ng Panginoon. Why Jesus was important? Why His blood was important? Bakit mahalaga ang dugo ni Cristo? Hindi ko na hindi ganyan. Because they teach you how to pay for your sin through penance. So, kaya kasi sila nagtuturo sila na, 
ang kabayaran na yung kasalanan ay yung hindi kaya mamumpisa o yung ganun bagay but the Bible is very clear ngunit ang Bibi ay napakaniwala that the blood of Jesus is the sacrifice for your sin ang dugo ng Panginoon maniwala ang isang na Bibi ang dugo ng Panginoon ay sakripisyo para sa kapatawaran ng ating mga kasalanan Hallelujah and then the next step is to repent of your sin at ang kasunod ay pagsisiya ng ating kasalanan to turn from what you've been doing talikuran yung mga dati na tinawa and turn to God at tayo ay lalapig sa Panginoon give your heart to our Lord Jesus Christ sigin natin ating puso sa Diyos say I'm gonna stop doing it my own way I'm gonna do it God's way at sasabihin mo hindi ko nagagawin yung mga dati kong ginawa dahil hindi mo na yung parang sa Panginoon after you do that hallelujah magagawa pa natin yun you can be born of the water and of the spirit at ikaw ay may papakanap sa tubig at spirito The Bible says, except a man be born of the water and the Spirit, he cannot enter the kingdom of God. Sabi ng Biblia, maliba na tayo ay parang sa tubig, sa Espiritu, hindi siya magpaso sa kanilang natin. That's right. That's that. Totoo yun. So once you've repented and put your faith in Jesus, at kapag ikaw'y basa na at inilagay mo na ang iyong pananampalataya ng Jesus, you can be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. Kaya pamabautismo sa pangalan ng Panginoon Jesus, And then you can receive the baptism of the Holy Ghost. Ang sabi mo ang kaloob ng Espiritu Santo and speak in other tongues. Ang pagsasalita niya ng pangmila. I don't know who hasn't done that here today. It was the true fact. Di ko lang kung sino na totoo ako niyo. Hindi pa pero sabi niya totoo. That's true. And many people here, I speak in tongues. And I'm speaking to the visitors right now. Kinakausap ko ang mga visitors. I speak in tongues. My wife speaks in tongues. Many people. In the church speaking other tongues. Sa Santa Anumika, sa Oga, sa Santa Anumika, marami na sa Santa Anumika. When the when the Spirit was inside of you, when you received the Holy Spirit in your body, kapag umasok sa yung Spirit mo sa yung katawan, the Lord will control your tongue. Ang Panginoon ko kontrolin niya ang yung mga nilis. This is a true thing. Ito ay totoo ba? So when you praise God, when you thank Him, kapag pinuri mo at pinasalamatan mo ang Diyos, a language will come out that you don't understand. Gusto ko na kontrolin ang Diyos sa inyong mga nila na hindi yung nalitihan. And you receive joy, unspeakable, and full of glory. Hallelujah. Sa pagdating mo ang kalikayahan, ang kasiyahan, at kalawalang ina. You can receive that gift today, right now. Hallelujah. Let's yes, all praise the Lord. Let's all praise the Lord. Let's all praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Let's sing a song. Hallelujah. Sing a song. Ang musicians. Amen. Pasok kayo. Dito. Lahat tayo ay lumapit sa Panginoon. And we can all clap. Let's, let's not die right now. Let's keep on praising the Lord. Let's lift Him up.